do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so before understanding what is rate determining steps so before understanding what is reaction intermediate let us see what is the definition of it it says some additional species other than the reactant or product which is produced in the mechanism is called as reaction intermediates and it is only possible in a complex reaction because complex reactions can give you multiple elementary steps and in this the product that is formed in one step can be consumed or can be act as a reactant in other step also so to understand it more much more better i have given you an example are sir is it going to be a little bit slow it's going to be editing cut ho jayega na okay suppose the reaction that i have mentioned in which no plus ozone will give you nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen this reaction is been formed in two steps in which the first step is nitrogen oxide plus ozone that gives you nitrogen trioxide plus oxygen atom and after that the step number 2 implies nitrogen trioxide plus oxygen atom that gives you no2 plus o2 that is oxygen so in this case as it is a complex reaction which gives two elementary reactions and among which the one will have a product that will be acting as a reactant in the second step or in the next step that product is said to be an reaction intermediate so let us see that which product is been produced in the first step or in the steps in which it is been consumed also so let us see in the reaction as we could see that this no3 that is formed in step number 1 is now been used as a reactant in step number 2 and ultimately it is been used so as to get no2 plus o2 so the thing is this is the species that is been used once again and it cannot be regenerated this can be also in the form of catalyst but the catalyst are regenerated after the completion of reaction and hence they are said to be catalyst while reaction intermediates are been consumed in the reaction itself so for this this no3 is said to be the reaction intermediate in the reaction in the overall reaction and it has no influence in the overall reaction as we could see that this no3 and this no3 consume is not present in the overall reaction so for this also we could determine the order of reaction and hence it is an elementary step so the order of reaction would be 2 because the number of moles involved in this elementary reaction is 1 and for no and 1 is for ozone so the order of reaction and the molecularity of this reaction will be 2 but for the overall reaction it cannot be predicted the order of reaction cannot be predicted because this will give you an experimental value that is value of x and y are the experimental value and they cannot be predicted by the overall reaction but order of reaction can be predicted by the elementary steps and in this thing the no3 is not been involved in the overall reaction and hence it will have no order so for this instant we have clear that what is the reaction intermediate but let me give you a question and let us see that how can we predict reaction intermediates in the given question friends i have given you a question in which you can see that the reaction aluminum plus plus 2 times cerium 4 plus 
gives you tellurium 3 plus plus 2 times cerium 3 plus which has a rate law which is mentioned here and it has been followed by the steps like step number 1, 2 and 3. So the main concern of us is we have to estimate which one would be the catalyst, which one would be the reaction intermediate and yes we have to predict that what would be the rate determining step. So let us understand this reaction. So first of all as you can see when we have to find out the reaction intermediate as you know reaction intermediate is something which is being produced in a step and being consumed in another step. So first of all let us find out that which one would be the reaction intermediate which is being produced and which is being consumed in the next step. So let us see if you observe that this cerium 4 plus will react with Mn2 plus will give you cerium 3 plus plus Mn3 plus. So this Mn3 plus whether is it consumed in a reaction or whether it is formed as it is let us see the second step. If you see the step number 2 you can observe that cerium 4 plus plus <coughs> cerium 4 plus plus Mn3 plus is being used. In this case see the Mn3 plus which was produced in step number 1 is now being consumed in step number 2. So yes this can be the reaction intermediate but let us see whether this Mn3 plus is again formed or not. If it forms again then it could be then it would not be a reaction intermediate. So this Mn3 plus is been consumed here and it gives you Mn4 plus while in the next reaction Mn4 plus is been produced is been consumed and gives us Mn2 plus. So in the overall reaction that we have predicted that the reaction intermediates in this case is nothing but Mn3 plus which has been produced in step number 1 and is now consumed in step number 2. So rather than that, so rather than that, are there any reaction other, any reaction intermediates also? Let us see. As you can see, in step number two, the Mn4 plus is been produced, while this Mn4 plus is now again consumed in step number three. So therefore, this two can be the reaction intermediates. So hence we have got two reaction intermediates that is Mn3 plus and Mn4 plus. So let us now talk about catalyst. So as I, so as I have mentioned earlier also that catalyst is a species that is being added in the reactant to increase the rate of the reaction and as well as it is also being regenerated after the completion of the reaction. So let us see is there any species which is being used and which is being regenerated in the reaction? So let us see. So in this case, when I talk about the reaction intermediates that we have got Mn3 plus and here also as well as Mn4 plus. So this won't be the catalyst because it it has been reused. But when I look about the species like uh, if I would say cerium 4 plus which gives you cerium 3 plus and again this cerium 4 plus which give you ce3 plus again this are being consumed to give ce3 plus and uh, let's talk about the another one that is if I talk about tellurium plus is giving me tellurium 3 plus again it is being consumed or it is been giving the reaction so which one is being reproduced so in this case if I uh, if I observe Mn2 plus which is been used in step number one is being produced in step number three so in this case Mn2 plus is so in this case Mn2 plus will be the catalyst 
Why? Because it has been used in step number one and has been produced in step number three. So because of it is regenerating and hence it is said to be a catalyst. And finally, we have to determine that what would be the rate determining step. So for determining a rate determining step, we should know the rate law. So according to rate law, according to rate law, the rate is dependent on CE4 plus and MN2 plus, which means it would be for an elementary reaction. And we should observe that these two reactants are present in which elementary step. So let us see. Cerium 4 plus and Mn2 plus are present in, but these are for reactants only, and if you should not go for the product, we should observe only for the reactant that is between this three. So Ce4 plus and Mn2 plus are observed in step number one, while in other steps Ce4 plus is there, but it is along with Mn3 plus. And for elementary reaction, it is for a one step reaction only. So, this will not be the reaction it, uh, intermediates that have formed or that would uh, consider as the rate of concentration based on uh, rate law. And this, of course, won't be the uh, reaction intermediate or rate determining step. So the correct answer would be CE4 plus and MN2 plus which are involved in step number one. So this would be the rate determining step because this would be the slower step and hence because of that only we could have we have evaluated a rate law. So basically we have find out three questions answer that is what is catalyst what is reaction intermediates and what is the rate determining step so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe ekita channel thank you so much